I got a dear friend named Benji and his wife Connie. They're in the ministry. <laughs> They're one of my own kind. Now, you need to understand something. We in the ministry, we're normal, regular people. We, we're just regular folks. We're God called, but we're regular. We're sinners just like everybody else. And, and in our marriages, sometimes we have little tests and tough times. I know my sugar baby and I do. I don't like to call them arguments, maybe just discussions. <laughs> There's a Hebrew word for that, bakar bakar, which means a whole bunch of bull. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but old Benji and Con that day, that had a little tiff, you know, it had a little tiff, you know, on that Friday. You know, she just didn't think he did enough and wouldn't help out enough, you know, how you know. <laughs> and so they had a banquet that night at church, real formal thing. I mean, really going to be nice. Girls, we're gonna, ladies going to wear the the formals, and, uh, and the men were going to dress up, and so they had to go, and he's on staff, he had to be there, you know, in the ministry, you got to go. And uh, they're going to have to fake it the whole night, you know what I mean? They're just going to have to act like everything's fine. <laughs> well, sure enough, she's put on her formal, and she's got one of these long zippers, you know, from the, the waist all the way to the neck, you know, one of those long jobber do's. She can't really get it all the way up, and she said, do you think you can help me with the zipper? Do you think you can do that much? <laughs> oh, baby. Old Ben says, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. He grabs that zero, goes on up there, gets up there, and he thinks, well, I'll have a little fun. So he goes, <laughs> and I said, it broke it. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, but he broke it. She said, you did not break my zipper. You know, they had to be there in about 15 minutes. He said, I'll fix it. So we got some pliers, couldn't fix it. They had to pin it. She had to put a shawl on in June. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so she said, I'm so embarrassed. I've never been so embarrassed. She didn't have another form. She said, I have to wear this. I have to wear a shawl my grandmother made. He said, well, you look good, baby. She said, oh. They get in the car. They get there. As soon as they get there, you know, they see people. Hey, 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 hey great. Hey, doesn't she look great? Doesn't she look great? Oh, yeah, Connie, your shawl is really nice. <laughs> she went, oh, my grandmother made it for me. And I knew it would be cold tonight up here. It's always so cold, you know, and I just thought I'd wear it to stay warm. And they went, yeah, great. Wish I had one. <laughs> but anyhow, you know how. So they went through that whole evening one and they got in the car to go home. She said, I have never been so humiliated and embarrassed my whole life. And he said, Honey, everybody said you look great. They were lying. They were just being Christian. <laughs> they get home. They go to bed. They don't pass go. They don't collect two hundred dollars. I mean they don't you know, they just go to bed. She sleeps on her side, he sleeps on his side, as you if you can understand what I'm trying to say. Next morning, she gets up ahead of him, gets all dressed, fixed up. She sort of wakes him. He said, hey, what are, you, what are you doing, Connie? She said, Bench, I'm going shopping. I'm going to buy me two formals. I'm going to charge him with a credit card. I don't care what Larry Burkett says. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Woo-hoo, baby, yeah. So all of a sudden, he said, go ahead, go ahead, be a bad steward if you want to be a bad steward, go ahead. So she hooks him. She comes back that Saturday afternoon about 2 o'clock two in the afternoon. She pulls up and there's old Benj underneath his car working, working his heart out, doing something, changing oil or something. She gets out and carries all these bags, you know, she goes up by him and stands there and, and he, about this much of his body is showing, you know, the rest underneath the car. She just looks down there and sees his zipper. And she just sort of tempted and she goes, oh, puts stuff down and reaches down and goes, there. Picks her stuff up, walks inside, puts her stuff on the kitchen table, goes back into the den, and there's Benji watching television. Who is underneath our car? He said, oh, Bubba from next door. He changed all in his car. said, while he was at it, he changed all in ours. She went, oh. He said, what's the matter? What's the matter? She told him what she did. He said, you did not. You did not. I went, I went out there. I didn't know. 
I thought it was you. I just grabbed his paper and I said, Do, 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 do. She looked at him. She said, you, you go out there and you do something to fix it. She said, if you, if you don't, and you better not let him know it was me. If, if you let him know, if you, I mean, if you, if you let him know it was me, you will not be singing, what a fellowship, what a joy divine. You understand? He, 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 he understood her language there. And Benji goes out there. Bubba's still underneath the car. He said, hey, Bubba, come on out. I need to talk to you. Bubba does not move. <laughs> he squats down there and looks underneath there. Bubba is out cold. <laughs> he pulls Bubba out, slaps him on the cheek, said, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Bubba goes, Benj, I was putting the last twist on your oil fill. Some woman came and grabbed my zipper, started zipping on my zipper and said, I tried to look up to see who it was, must have hit my head on the manifold. <laughs> Benji said, I've heard about her. She lives way down the street. She lives way down the street. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Why do I tell you such a story? <laughs> to tell you that we... We take ourselves way too serious most of the time. <laughs>